Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, we're going to go over the Avengers Endgame really fast. Uh, wonderful movie, wonderful series. On our channel, we show how this symbolism is all around us, like a black magic. And that we're actually in a time of the beast from the bottomless, bottomless pit and all of these ten kings preparing to fight Jesus Christ. And these things are shown everywhere, especially in the movies. They are as vision boards. We are in a time of a change right now, fighting this beast. Things are getting changed, even your movies. We're fighting the woman on the beast, the beast from the bottomless pit, and these ten kings, and they all have one mind. These shall make war with the Lamb. These things are done all around us. This is a wonderful movie. It's a, it's a wonderful scene for everything going on. The black magic in the movie is surrounding Tony, Iron Man. In the Bible, that represents one of your Satan characters. They will blend the iron with the clay. See, Iron Man, Tony. The devil plays a lot of tricks. Many, many names. This is what it will come down to. At the end of that movie, you will have Sam L. and Lilith ruling the universe. And everybody will have been tricked by Tony again. Making it look like Tony sacrificed himself. Please, please stop watching here if you don't want to know spoilers. But Tony basically sacrificing himself like a Jesus character. But there will be a Tony taking over. These are some of the names the devil likes to go by. Tom. See Tom Cruise. Tom. And then you have Tony. Tony. Tony and Tom. At the end, Tony and Tom will be ruling the universe of this and nobody will know it. it in the Bible, it's the time when the devil tries to change times and laws. And it was shown in your Star Wars movie. This is the end. Sam L. and Lilith now in charge. It's supposed to be Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, the Son of God, ruling the universe. The same thing here. In Avengers Infinity War, Thor, the Son of God, is supposed to have the throne and rule the universe. Both stories have been changed. They changed Star Wars. They got rid of Mark Hamill and they brought in a British woman and John Boyega. They have replaced the Son of God with a British woman through there. And there's nothing against racism or anything, but it's all coming back to this. Sam L, Satan, and Lilith. That's what it always comes back to in here. Always. Remember, we're fighting the woman on the beast, and the beast from the bottomless pit, and they all go after the lamb. That's what happened in here. At Avengers, in Avengers, the, the movie was fantastic. But Tony has to sacrifice. And then, Captain America basically sacrifices. And then, Thor sacrifices basically all to quit. And they give all the power to, watch this, Thor appoints Valkyrie as the ruler of New Asgard. A woman gets the throne of God. And then Captain America passes his shield to Sam Wilson, Samael. So at the end, a woman is on the throne of God, and Satan, Sam, is ruling the earth. At the end of this, you have 
Samael, Satan, and Lilith ruling the universe. Welcome to the Avengers lie. Even here, Tony, he's not gone. Or Tom, they're not gone. It's a lie. Tessa Thompson is Valkyrie and gets the throne of God at the end of the Avengers movie. Tom. Sam Wilson gets the shield. Tony. See how it's all a lie? You see the, the, the work they go in to do this? So there you have Samuel and Lilith. He plays the character Sam Wilson. Tony. So see how it's done again? Samuel and Lilith ruling the universe. That was the same thing in the Star Wars movie. They got rid of Mark Hamill, the son of God, the son of Vader. They got rid of Thor, the son of God. And they put a woman on the throne. Just as we've been showing about over in Britain is one of the things that we're fighting. A British woman and a guy named John, like Donald John Trump, saying, make America great again. Great what? Great Britain. So there you have a British woman with the staff. That staff is for Jesus. So you see how in the movies they have taken the throne from Thor and they've taken the throne from Luke Skywalker and they gave it to the woman and Satan. The same thing here. Tony. See? Tony's still there. It's all a lie. The whole thing is a lie. Tony's not gone. See? This might be a little intricate to understand, but that's what happened. See? Tony and Tom ruling the universe with a woman on the throne and the Son of God kicked out into the abyss of space and gone and loses his throne. That's what happened in here. You believe that? Yeah, that's the way this trickery works. Thor appoints Valkyrie as the ruler of New Asgard, of the new heaven. And the new earth is given to Sam, Samael. You're starting to see who a big part of our enemies are in Great Britain? This woman is a British actress. So is he. See how they've replaced everything with Britain? Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So they put a woman on the throne of God named Tom. <laughs> and then they had another guy ruling the world named Sam. Samael, and it's still Tony. It's all a lie. Welcome to the lies of Satan. Tony Stark, Iron Man, mixing the iron with the clay, which is what's talked of in the, in the Bible. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. It always comes back to this. Samael, Satan, and Lilith. This has a big thing to do with the Queen of Great Britain. She represents the woman riding the beast that has been in charge for 60 years or so. God have mercy on us all. This is who Jesus fights. The woman on the beast. And there she is. She wants the staff. And she wants Jesus gone. She wants Jesus, the Son of God, gone. And she wants the throne of God. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. These are all lies. All of them. God have mercy on us all. A type of voodoo that they do.